friends do you know what is the latest development in the area of artificial intelligence it's chat gpt yes everyone in this uh, domain is talking about this chatbot a lot of speculations are happening a lot of people believe it's a complete disruption uh, some of them believe that it will beat google search and so on and so forth but don't worry i'm here to answer all your questions uh, through this video so let's get started now let me address some of your questions like what is chat gpt and who is the mastermind behind it so uh, if you remember my last video where i spoke about a company called as open ai and its uh, models like dali 2.0 which is an ai painter i also spoke about clip which was into conceptual designing and i promised about chat gpt that i'll cover more in the coming video so here i am now talking about this company this company was founded by two people one is sam altman and the other one was elon musk yes you heard me ra right uh, it was elon musk however in 2018 elon musk stepped down because he wanted to focus more on tesla but sam took this forward and today is the scene when on november 30th chat gpt was launched and within just 5 days it crossed almost a million users and that's why it is talk of the town in the area of uh, ai now uh, another thing that i want to tell you about chat gpt is what is chat gpt it is nothing but a chat bot but it is based on uh, nlp technology at the same time gpt3 technology now what's gpt3 gpt3 is uh, generative pre training now for that you will have to understand a small concept called as generative ai so far we have seen uh, that whenever a chatbot is uh, responding it's more about uh, it's using mostly the nlp concept where it's fetching data from the data which is fed and uh, accordingly it's responding however when it comes to generative ai uh, in such scenario the system is actually generating new content uh, on top of nlp uh, technology which is uh, creating a boom uh, in the market now let's talk more about chat gpt i already told it's a chat bot so that's a known fact now but it was designed to assist customer support uh, conversations and information gathering tasks but apart from that um, there are some surprising use cases like uh, it can actually come up with python codes and not only that but uh, it can also correct the bugs in the python code it can correct your grammar it can write an essay for you it can also um, convert uh, a movie title into emoji so those are some interesting use cases of chat gpt and a lot of startups uh, are looking at uh, this a great uh, piece of information that they are getting and they can build a lot of uh, at least the customer support can be built on uh, using uh, chat gpt so those are uh, basically the use cases of chat gpt now the question is is chat gpt the only interactive chatbot uh, that has launched uh, the answer is no there has been similar attempts in past as well in 2016 microsoft launched their chatbot named as tay on um, twitter for their twitter users however they had to pull this down within 24 hours because this uh, chatbot started responding in foul language ultimately it was learning from human who were interacting uh, with this bot later in august meta also launched something called as blender bot 3 however uh, the accuracy of this bot was not at par so even that didn't work now the question is what is the difference that chat gpt brings in and how it is uh, giving this level of accuracy the answer to this is they are working in the background on something called as moderation api 
So this API actually keeps a check on the foul languages, illegal content, and it's basically a kind of a quality check that is happening before any content is generated on the portal. Another beauty of this uh, chatbot uh, is that uh, it's learning uh, using your RLHF, which is it's based on reinforcement learning uh, based on human feedback. So even today, uh, when it's working, uh, it's actually learning from all the feedback that's coming from users and it's improvising itself. Another thing that they have done is before launching in the year, uh, before launching uh, last year on November 30th, they had already released a beta version and a lot of feedback has been already captured and it's an improvised version. And that's why it's giving you such an accurate uh, results. But you never know uh, 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 because this company also comes with a disclaimer that there might be a chance uh, of some incorrect answers. So, but so far uh, people are all gaga about this uh, chat GPT and I hope this works so, uh, for a lot of us. Um, now the question is, is there any challenges or everything is a kind of a rosy picture which is being portrayed? So let's into, look into what are the challenges uh, of uh, ChatGPT. Yes, there are some limitations and challenges ahead of them when it comes to ChatGPT. For example, the day when it was launched, uh, their entire website was frozen. I would call that as a blessing in disguise because the response was so huge that they were not even prepared for it. However, within a uh, few hours, they scaled up their infrastructure and they are up and running uh, right now. Another one um, uh, is uh, when it comes to chat GPT limitations, then uh, as company themselves uh, quote that there are chances of incorrect answers. So we need to be cognizant about uh, this fact. Another thing is around unconscious biasness that might have uh, influence on uh, the um, responses generated through chatbot which is completely difficult to eliminate uh, at the first stage itself and I hope going forward it will further uh, improvise. The other thing uh, is um, which is uh, they talk about is uh, having so much of information upfront uh, might be a little challenging for uh, people like students uh, and uh, they, they could actually use chatbot uh, for writing their exams. The other thing is experts also believe there might be some ethical implications of having some confidential information of companies and other things uh, available via chat GPT on their uh, website if, it, if there is a skip at the moderation uh, API level. Uh, so, in all, uh, I have tested uh, chat GPT, I have asked few questions to it and uh, I found responses not very robotic but uh, a very well structured responses that I got and uh, for me it is helpful uh, if I have to fetch some knowledgeable information uh, from it. So I have tried it, if you want to try it, it's quite simple, you just have to go to a web uh, website of OpenAI, that's one way, or else you just type chat.openai.com and you will reach to chatbot. You just have to sign up, create an account with OpenAI and you can get started. Hope you like this video and you would try it out and see and experience yourself. I believe uh, it's a pro positive move, uh, a positive disruption uh, which is taking us to a next level but uh, with the coming days we'll get to know more about it. Hope you like this video and if you did please like, share, subscribe and till then me CS Sarika Sen signing off for today. Have a good day.